In this video, we're going to take a look at solving a rational equation, such as x over x plus 2, plus 1 over x plus 1, equals 5 over x plus 1, times x plus 2. When solving a rational equation, we find it's best to clear the little frac... to clear the fractions by multiplying each term on the left and right by the least common denominator. We see in this problem, there's a factor of x plus 2, and a factor of x plus 1. No need to list them twice when they show up in other fractions. What we can do with this LCD, then, is multiply each term on the left and right by x plus 2, x plus 1. x plus 2, x plus 1, and x plus 2, x plus 1. This will allow us to reduce out all the fractions. The x plus 2's divide out, leaving just x times x plus 1. Plus, the x plus 1's divide out, leaving 1 times x plus 2. Equals, the x plus 1's and the x plus 2's divide out, leaving just 5. We can now solve the resulting equation, just as we have solved equations before. First, we will want to get rid of the parentheses by distributing through, giving us x squared plus x, plus x, plus 2, equals 5. Combining like terms gives us x squared plus 2x, plus 2, equals 5. When solving an equation with x squared, we need it to equal 0 first, and then factor the resulting equation. To make it equal 0, we'll subtract 5 from both sides, giving us x squared plus 2x, minus 3, equals 0. Now that it's equal to 0, we can factor it using the AC method, multiplying to negative 3, and adding to 2. This is going to be 3 and negative 1. Because we have a 1 in front of the x squared, we're allowed to use our shortcut to factor to x plus 3, times x minus 1. We can now set each factor equal to 0, x plus 3 equals 0, and x minus 1 equals 0, and quickly solve by subtracting 3 to get x equals negative 3, or adding 1 to get x equals 1. However, before we're done with this problem, we want to double check to make sure our answers are not extraneous solutions. In other words, because we're dealing with fractions, we want to be careful we don't accidentally stick 0 in the denominator of a fraction. A good place to check that would be with our LCD. The LCD is the denominator of everything, so let's plug in first negative 3. Negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1. It's not 0, so we're OK here. Negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2, also not 0. Our answer of negative 3 works. Checking the 1, 1 plus 2 is 3, and 1 plus 1 is 2. Because we did not get an answer of 0, we can keep both of these solutions as our final answer. We got that final answer by identifying the least common denominator, and multiplying each term by the LCD. This reduced out the fractions, giving us an equation we could solve by setting it equal to 0 and factoring. Of course, we remember to check our answers in the LCD to make sure that denominator is never equal to 0.